YouTube, we're back in business, baby. I kind of a weird video today, but I've made the dynamic duo the most slept on things in zombies ever, and I can't wait to show you guys. Now, this is gonna make it so every single weapon that you take can get you to round 100, and all of your kills and any ammo mods and things like that still count for camos. So first off, we're gonna take Frost Blast Tier 5, okay? The reason for that is at level three, you double the size and damage of the blast, so when you use the ability, it's just like Ring of Fire, it almost insta-kills. And then Tier 4, you can increase the maximum charge to three i swear the thing pretty much never goes away and in tier five normal enemies are frozen for five seconds and insta killed when damaged so any enemies that walk inside of your circle when you shoot them they will immediately die now being that the max tier three doubles the size of the blast and special enemies are slowed if you pair that with the ammo mod cryo freeze now what this does is slow the enemies and cause them to take more damage from your gun as well so tier one slowed enemies take 25 percent more damage at tier three they're slowed by 50 percent and tier four special enemies can be slowed but at tier five on a slowed enemy kill the enemy shatter spreading the slow effect to five nearby normal enemies so again this is a lot like dead wire the slowed enemies are going to take extra damage like ring of fire and if you remember while we're taking frost blast we're slowing the enemies and at tier five normal enemies are frozen for five seconds and insta killed while damaged so we're going to pair these two things up today take the street sweeper into some firebase z on my personal favorite spot we're going for high rounds I'm not going to record and play all the way to 100 if you guys want to see that in a live stream let me know in the comments i'm happy to do it on stream have some fun show you guys the fastest way to get to around 100 just going to show you what it does, why it's OP, and why you should start using it right now. Now, while the game is loading up, I just want to say a massive thank you guys for 50,000 subscribers. I'm just starting my third month of YouTube is all, and it's just blown me away. We were able to release our merch with the new designs that we had made for you guys. There's like pretty much zero profit coming from any of them. So if you guys want to check them out, they're super cheap. Just wanted to create something cool and fun and a nice design that would work on streetwear that you guys can wear. It's not really going to just scream like, I'm a video gamer, you know, so... You guys will probably see that right below the little video. There might be little boxes that you guys can click on, but I'll have the link in the description as well if you want to check out the new merch. Also, I just want to say for 50,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing a sleep stream live. That's kind of what you guys have all requested. So I'm also going to be taking a poll on YouTube for next week, what day of the week would be best for you guys to have some fun and be in a sleep stream with me. I also kind of have a special upload that's going to be going up for 50K a video itself. So keep an eye out for that as well. And So on Firebase, yeah, I like to, once I get the power on there, we'll be a little short of the Pack-a-Punch. So just kind of train around, um, let all the zombies just spawn to you as fast as they can. Just sit by the helipad. You want to get enough points for the 5,000 to Pack-a-Punch the first time. And then you're going to want to buy your ammo mod, which is another 2,000. So try and get up there right around 7,000 points. And then we're just going to head in and buy what we need. There we are. We're going to be just short, right about 500 points short. You guys can come up here straight away if you'd like. Even just go into the coffin easter egg. That'll give you some zombies that you can get some kills with as well as a free juggernaut perk. All right, as you guys get to the third bunny here, you can kind of just turn around, kill a couple zombies, get some points. You only need to pump the bunny one time with the, the street sweeper. Now we're gonna grab our jug and the scrap that we need. Right when we come back in here, we're gonna jump down, pack a bunch for our first time, and then quickly grab our... Now, two things as well, just so you guys remember, if you haven't yet, if you're trying to go to high rounds, make sure whatever weapon class you guys like to use the most, whether it's shotguns, SMGs, snipers, whatever, use your crystals if you have them on leveling up the tier of your weapon, so you guys can do extra, you know, long range damage or close up damage, etc. I like to, once I come out of the coffin easter egg, just stay here for one round, try and get enough money, because really the only perks we're going to need for the strat that we're doing is speed cola and then dead shot. So we're going to grab dead shot. I have a tier five just for the extra damage that you get from that. We'll wait here till we get enough for speed cola to do that as well. And make sure you guys are leveling up the tier your weapon as much and as often as you guys can. So you're outputting the most damage possible. Now, the thing that makes cryo freeze so good. And again, no one's going to use this right now because dead wire is so OP, but it triggers so much more often than any of the other ammo mods so again you're pretty much guaranteed once you shoot a zombie like 50% of the time it's gonna be triggering right and when they're slowed and stuff you're gonna be doing extra damage it's pretty much like double tap on your gun like dead serious I'm not shitting you it, it triggers so much it's it's honestly like a 50% look at that we go we'll end this round here grab our speed cola just because we are using the street sweeper Oop, wrong thing these are pretty much the perks that you guys are going to need. Again, once you get into higher rounds, I would highly suggest taking Quick Revive just for the health regeneration you guys are going to get. You know, if you ever need to bounce out of the window or anything like that, having your HP go back up faster is really good in high rounds when you get 
two tapped and stuff so again now we're just gonna head up to the best spot on firebase z the colonel's office up here we want to stand to the right of the white lamp because the zombies from the window will come at us in a straight line and we can pretty much just sit here and afk farm the entire time now there's a couple things we're gonna want to do before we uh, get into round 100 mode now that's just gonna be pack a punching to tier three and buying any of the perks that we need. And keep going, you guys will see here, you're right, when we have the mimics, we can slow, you know, special zombies now. And like I said, with it pretty much impacting a zombie 50% of the time, once you slow it, it will do increased damage. So it's pretty much like having ring of fire, except it goes off without you needing an ability, right? Not to mention, you know, every 30 seconds when you kill a zombie, it will slow down a bunch of other zombies, which is nice when you're doing the Firebase East strat or even Penthouse on Demachina because it'll kind of clog the hole, right? This doorway that they're all coming through, if it splashes and hits the five surrounding zombies by it, it pretty much slows down the wave to let you get more rounds off, doing more damage. It doesn't last as long as the Ring of Fire. I'll kind of train these zombies here just to show you guys. But once you use it, right, it immediately is going to clear all the ones in front of you. So super nice for when you're in higher rounds when they get on top of you ring of fire doesn't do the same thing it doesn't slow down the zombies you know sometimes you might even have a weapon that doesn't do enough damage past like round 40 or 50 that even tier 5 ring of fire can't get you through those up close encounters so popping that is going to instantly kill all of the normal zombies and then after its initial radius it's going to double in size to where it will slow and freeze all normal zombies and slow down the elite zombies and give them extra damage that they take while they're being slowed so the benefits there's a ton of them they all kind of stack on top of each other they work really well i'll use another one here while we get the uh, the mangler to come upstairs and here we have a mimic on us we're gonna wait till a couple of the normal zombies get in here we're gonna use that the elite the mimic is going to take extra damage and all the normal zombies are going to die and freeze behind us so we don't have to worry about the normal zombies if you ever get like overran in this spot just pop one of those it's not like ring of fire you don't have to wait for it to regenerate while you're using it you immediately start working towards another one um good time to talk about insta kill i guess if you pick up insta kill uh, none of your abilities will charge while your insta kill timer is going but again i mean i'll pop this one right insta die in front of us and then in the longer wave Inside the longer radius of the circle, it freezes all the zombies, and while they're frozen and slowed, they take additional damage. All the while, like I said, we are still regenerating more of our frost blasts because unlike Ring of Fire, they keep going. They keep on going. Every time you kill a zombie, you're regenerating your ability. Wrapping up our round here, we're gonna have enough points to pack a punch for our third time and grab any other perks that we need during our second assault wave, which will be right now. <laughs> Finishing up our second assault wave there, now again, the strategy on Firebase Z going to high rounds is once you've completed all of your pack-a-punch tiers and things that you need the power for, we're actually going to let those assault waves win. We're going to pack-a-punch for a third time there. Come over here, grab any perks that we might need. Also, don't forget, if you guys have the scrap, keep your weapon tier all the way up as much as you can, all the time. Now, the reason that we're going to let all the reactors fail and get destroyed by the zombies is because that is going to stop the assault waves and the order rounds from happening. Now, once that happens, you're just going to have normal rounds of zombies going to round 100. So for from here on out, as soon as you guys can get your pack-a-punch all the way done, leveling up the tiers of your weapons and anything you need the power for, we're going to let the zombies win the round. You guys will still have power inside of the village, so where we just went to pack-a-punch and things like that. You guys will not be able to use the pack-a-punch and things like that once a reactor is destroyed. All you have to do is if they get turned off and you do need them back on for any reason, is like round, you know, the earlier rounds when we're getting the power on for the first time, you just have to protect the reactor. So we want to make sure we can get pack-a-punch, we can get everything that we need to tier three and we can skip the assault wave rounds i like playing the first two assault waves because that gives you plenty of time to get all the scrap that you need to get your weapon orange and get tier three armor because then you can just pick up armor from the, the mimics and manglers things like that you don't really need any of the machines to do it and your weapon will be maxed your weapon will be all the way maxed so it doesn't necessarily matter now i also want to note when the power goes out and you guys you know lose all the reactors the crafting tables are still going to be open so if you go down for any reason you can still buy the quicker vibe I'm sorry, self revives and stuff like that. It doesn't matter. You don't need the power for those. But when the power goes out, you guys can still use the perk machine and things like that in the village. You won't be able to use the pack a punch, but you can use the villages, you know, machines and stuff. You don't need the power for those. It's also extremely nice, again, that you can carry three charges of your flock of your frost blast so there's pretty much zero scenarios where you'll you know get overran. Like I said, I mean I can shoot the mimic twice. Once I'll get the frozen there. 
Well, wait, I mean, look how slow it is. We'll shoot it again. It's frozen again. I mean, there's, we're chilling, bro. Like, <laughs> And the timing works out perfectly if you want to play through the first two assault waves because as you guys can see i'm taking the last flashlight attachment so i'm getting the most blue scrap and stuff that i can i can come over here and go to tier orange and then i am just 20 blue scrap away from being level 3 armor because it only costs 250 i have 230. so at that point in time once you have tier 3 armor and all that stuff you know you're chilling here just to show you guys right i'm going to use my frost blast it's going to instantly kill all the normal zombies around us and then you're pretty much i mean they don't do any damage to you they don't come near you i'm already halfway back to another one we're just going to use it again it's going to slow everyone down make them take additional damage you're not you're not dying i know it looks like super hectic when all the zombies are on top of you like that but especially i mean if you're just trying to get to around 100 i would take the street sweeper or something because it's very easy and then if we do need any ammo there's an ammo box right outside to our left right here as well if you just swoop in inside there's one inside the building there's two ammo boxes that we can always buy ammo from if you guys ever need more you can just jump out of the window that's right here and just you know go run in a circle or something and grab some more ammo but you're chilling going into round 32 this should be our last round before orda um i think i'm gonna play out an entire round just to show you guys um you know how difficult or easy you think it looks or is not going to try and get any you know specific ways of getting kills with the zombies to show you you know the way you freeze them this way just going to play it the way i would if i was going around 100 just to show you guys you know the most important thing that you do no matter how crazy your screen looks like it's getting you're actually not in that too much of you know deep shit the dogs will kind of get to you um since you're shooting above their their hitbox but don't worry too much about that Again, if you guys need to, I like to just use that thing if I need to reload. It'll freeze all the zombies, and you just kind of go again. And most importantly, when you guys get a second, right? Like, like right now, we're going to make sure we can reload some ammo, especially using the street sweeper, because it's very difficult with its reload time. When you guys get a sec, like right there, just reload. You guys get so much frost blast. You know, it comes back so fast. Don't be afraid to pop them. Again, you have three full charges, so it really is very easy. If you need to reload, just use it. By the time you guys finish reloading, the zombies will start coming again. And then by the time you kill all those zombies, you'll get your charge back. So it really doesn't get more difficult than it is right now. Like, to be honest, the zombie speed doesn't necessarily matter. Their health is going to be a little bit higher, right? But I mean, it doesn't matter. Your freaking spring is street sweeper. You're going to end the round and kill them the same way. It's not going to matter. So now I just wanted to show you guys that because going into our order round, we're going to be protecting this area, but we're not actually going to protect it. We're going to hang back here, let the zombies destroy it. Just can come out here, grab the cruise missile if you want. I like having the cruise missile just in case I'm about to go down or something. Just use it up there like a chopper gunner. The remaining zombies, once they kind of overflow a little bit, will just run straight at you right here. So I like to kind of sit right here. Just let the zombies finish. Come on, little buddies. You can do it. I believe in you. Right, there we go. Order will finish it off. Again, it will turn off the power. The zombies will kind of, you know, move a little bit, but then the round will just end on its own. There, order goes. The next two assault waves, order should spawn at the other reactors. And once that happens, let the power go out everywhere, and then order will stop spawning. And to make it even better, if you guys want to play zombies the right way, now when you're in the room and the power comes off, it's actually dark in here. Uh, nothing changes. It's actually just like, it's it's more fun. If you guys do this with your friends, I'm telling you it's a blast when all the power's off. It just looks more scary. Definitely play this with your buddies at midnight. It's a good ass time. Now, once we finish that round, obviously the power's going to be off in one area. So we're not going to have to pack a punch. I came to the village just to show you guys. So if you come to try and pack without that, you're not going to be able to. Uh, but you guys can still come here, buy your perks that you need, and use, you know, Oh shit. Oh, hello, hello. All right, all right. Use the armor restoration guy, whatever you want to call it, the little armor and weapon tier, you know, area. When you come to the village, you guys can still use that. By the time all the zombies unfreeze, uh, your magazine will be full. And then by the time you use that magazine, you'll have all your frost blast black. Your frost blast back. Jeez, I can't talk. That's a tongue twister. But yeah, very easy. Like I said, I got carpenter there. When you kill the the mimics and the manglers, you'll get more armor, stuff like that. I've already said. So very simple. Again, just don't forget, if you're kind of stuck while you're reloading, just use your frost blast. All the zombies in the area will freeze. So you can kind of get rid of all of them. Bingo, bongo. 
so yeah i'm gonna end it there if you guys would like to see me do this on stream and try and go around 100 let me know in the comments i think that'd be pretty fun it's definitely more fun with friends trust me when the power goes out and it's late at night you guys are all packed in that little corner like it's Doris from you know world at war it's a way good time but i highly suggest you try it out it's definitely not a waste of your tier 5 crystals if you do them together one without the other is not good but them together is very op but yeah again just want to say thanks for 50k if you guys want to check out the merch make sure you hit the link below there's definitely some dope stuff in there can't wait for more zombies content to keep coming as we get new things throughout the year as well as the new warzone map hopefully kind of things shift more to cold war and we get a lot more cool content i can make videos on that being said hope you guys enjoyed this little underrated video today wanted to find someone that really nobody had tried out and everyone was shit talking and make it a good and i tried these two together and i mean it's good drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed if you want to see more stuff like this let me know in the comments subscribe if you haven't yet we're now on the road to 100k which is nuts definitely a big goal of mine would be hitting 100k by the end of 2021 and just one year on youtube which would be nuts i mean we're freaking three months in and we're halfway there so we've got a long ways but if you guys want to see more stuff like this hit that sub button i love you guys be safe take care have a kick-ass day sleep well whenever you're watching this peace out we'll see you in the next video see you in the live stream love you guys